We certainly have made things tough for us in today's episode. We've got a pretty big goal deficit going into the second leg of the AFC Champions League quarter. Maybe I think it's the quarterfinal. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Yeah, we got a three goal deficit. We got to overcome if we want to beat the Pohang Steelers. It's a home match. I think we're playing at home. Yep, playing at home. It's the second leg of the quarterfinal. I thought it was the quarterfinal. Just wasn't 100% sure. Then after that, we got a, what I consider a derby, going up against Kang one. And then the league will split in a couple, not not too long. It's, it's, it's definitely on the way, which should be a good time. I know it. Looks like the season's about to end, but we're going we're gonna to have a league split, which I actually remembered this time, which is kind of new for me. I usually forget. I forgot it the past two years. We've only played one match where we last left off. We did have a friendly against Kang 1, which we won 3 nil. Then we went out and played Honest Citizen, beat them 2 nil. Ivan Marin, Sam getting in goal. So good stuff all around there. Looking at the injuries, we've had a couple. As you guys remember, Gutierrez, I think that happened off screen. He's coming back after this match, unfortunately. Kim Chan So, he's still out for two months potentially. Kim Young Min out for seven months. Kim, our, our number 20. He just came back. So that is good. He's going to be in there for the lineup today. Not, not a whole lot has changed since we last left off. We, we really struggled in the last episode going up against Pohang Steelers, which we just got absolutely dominated in. Didn't have anything for him. And then uh, we grew against Jordan Book after that. Sorry, my dog is laying in the hallway. Found out that there's a rug in here that he'll be on. He's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, yeah, we're we're hopefully going to get past where we are financially. We're still we're still struggling. The board has pumped some money into the club. Again, it was not. It wasn't. It wasn't enough to really help. I'm trying to see if I could find it. The email for it. Yeah, we'll look for inject. Ain't that how they say it? Like injects money into the club. Yeah, on September 3rd, they injected $1 million in the into the running the cost. But it's kind of weird. It's like whenever we get really, really shitty, they'll put some money into the club. But uh, it's never enough to really help us out. They kind of want us to be, I guess, self-efficient. We don't have a lot of money coming in to be self-efficient. So, yeah, it's it's kind of an odd one. Let's get into the match. So we got Son in goal. We got a back four of Kim, Sam, Park, Sung, Horn. And Han Bin in the midfield. Park G Min, Park Jung. Right hand side, I'm Taekun. In the middle, Kim Sunko. Left hand side, Marin. Up top, Jung. If you missed it in the last episode, we loaned out Kang. Just because we needed we we don't need to pay him. Pay him too much as it is. And and it helped out a little bit with the financial aspect of it, but uh still struggling. We're we're gonna have to sell some players this offseason and uh use youth players going forward for some of that stuff that we was doing. I think really if we if we cut down the foreign players that we're using and really focus on cheap contracts for foreign players like we was able to pull off with, I think, I keep thinking his name's Rodriguez. I could be totally wrong and it not be Rodriguez. Uh, contracts like his or or the loans like Wilvert that we brought in without paying any of his salary. So I think that's what we're going to do going forward. Meanwhile, we really need to get off to a good start in this match. We got the three goal deficit. We do have an away goal for us, so that's that's good. But we've got to get three goals for that to even matter at this point. Han Ben with the ball plays it over to Park Jong. Park G Min take the shot, young fella, gets it in. Fourth goal of the season there at Park Young on the assist. 4 2. The comeback is underway early on. Called for him to take the shot and and he delivered. It wasn't. It wasn't a great shot. Let's be real. It wasn't. It. it we're kind of lucky it, it went in. But I just. I prefer. I, I, honestly, he didn't need the first touch. Just. Just take the shot. Good stuff there. Park Young. I mean, you're you're having a good match, man. You had an assist. Why are you? No, no sad faces. No. 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 Jung brings it down here. Had a really poor match against Pohang Steelers the last time. We're going to hopefully try to get him going here soon. Loses out. And uh, now now that we're kind of playing a little bit different, I don't want to see. 
want to move him up the pitch a little bit more in today's match, especially this first one, because because we need the help. We definitely do. I am interested to see what if we get knocked out here, what we what we have in terms of financial, like what what comes in with the with making it this far into the Champions League because. For the most part, it's very underwhelming what we've brought in. This does not look good here. Oh, oh, oh. we got a little bit lucky there because that thing had some heat on it. Wow. Yeah, it's not. I, I think we need to get a little bit more going, y'all. We haven't we haven't done much in the attack again today. Oh, Hank Steelers does pick up an injury here. They do have another highlight, unfortunately. Samuel, the guy taking this set piece, was one of the guys that absolutely slam basted us in the last match. So hopefully we can kind of keep him under check. That's not how we're going to win the match right there. That was really poor defending. Really poor defending. Now the goal def we got a three goal deficit going into halftime. It was doable with two. I, I don't think we're getting through this one, though. I don't know what Han Bent was doing there. Just really, really poor defending. I mean, we got to be aggressive. That's for sure. And we're every time we've played them in these. In, the last time we played them, they was the more aggressive side. This time, there's a more aggressive side. We're not far from please. Like Jung's. Jung has really took a step back later in this season, it seems like. I'm Tay Coon with him. Not a good injury. Not one that we need. We're already kind of thin in the attack. Tay's going to come on. I'm, I'm really disappointed today. Just like, because we, we didn't do anything again. We can beat them in the league. Can't beat them in the Champions League where we need to need to perform. And the thing about the side is now we, we don't have... We don't have a good side. Like, we're not... Can I get you to... Thank you. Okay, there we go. Thank you for moving up. Uh, yeah, it's it's... We're not, we're not, we're, we're just not what we need to be, I don't feel like right now. I'm going to bring the other Jung on. See if we can just get something going up top. I mean, I would really like him to move over. There we go. That took a lot longer than it needed to. And we had 17 shots. And we've had one goal. We just couldn't get over that over that deficit that we created in the first match. It's it's sad to say. I mean, because like I feel we've been the better side today. Jung's just played terrible. That was a poor poor head back there. It seemed like I am. I'm disappointed right now. Park G man gets it. I mean, we have seen crazier stuff. But just, just a lack of attack. Like, Jung just being really poor in these past two matchups against them. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm being a little reckless right now. But I feel like we have to be at this point, don't we? Okay, two goal deficit now. <laughs> Got to get two more in these last ten minutes. Don't think it's going to happen, dude. I really don't. I think we're, I think our Champions League run is over with this this matchup, and it's it's disappointing because we go up against a team that we we should beat, and we we just don't do it. We try to make a comeback way too soon. Kim does a good job winning this. Kite, 
I mean, it's 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 close. It's close. I don't think it's going to happen. Just waited a little bit too late for us to actually start doing anything in this match. We got one more highlight here. Lee Sun Ho with it. Goal score. Marin, who's uh, once again been a disappointing player. Park Junk. We got a set piece here. Corner take. Six minutes of added time. Kim Sung Ho to step back and take it. We have we have time to get this last goal in. Are we going to? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to see another highlight. We're going to see a Pohang Steelers highlight. If we just wouldn't have allowed that goal today. And they're just wasting time at this point, which you can't blame them. And now they're going to look for an attack here and probably get it in. Samuels had a real quiet day. There it is. That's the that's the nail in the coffin. Three two four six on aggregate. I mean, it was a fun matchup, but dang. I just felt like we could have done so much better. And, and, and I guess it's too because like the board just cutting our payroll, man. It's like, okay, well we're not ever going to grow. He's out for a while. And we get 200K from that. So much money. Lee Jung's hurt for three days. He's been really poor. Well, before we get into our second match, we do have a youth intake to discuss. So, see if we got any good players here. One thing I'm really, really happy about our top candidate, according to this part of the list, uh, Lee Jung Jin, he's a center back. We haven't had a good center back youth intake, or we haven't had a good center back come in our youth intake yet. Uh, he's a one and a half star player right now, five star potential, 16 year old. And guys, I really like the way he looks. I mean, I think you give him one, two years on the reserve team, let him probably get like up to 18 in terms of age. He may be on our side at that point. His strength is his weakness. Uh, he's not a very strong center back, but. At the age of 16, maybe that can get up a little bit and uh, he can find his way on the first team because he's, he does have some really good technical abilities in what we need him to do. I mean, he's don't let him touch the ball. Just don't let him touch it. But as a central defender, I, I think he'll do a pretty good job for us. Definitely, definitely getting signed. Up next, we got Kim Min Woo, the attacking mid, one and a half star player, four and a half star potential ability. And, uh, he looks fairly well. I really like his teamwork. He's got good vision. I like his mental abilities. He's got some really good mental abilities. Passing, he can't pass worth horse shit. It's uh, not good. He's an advanced playmaker. He can't pass. I'm, I'm not sure how that works. He is a mercenary, so he may want to move on from club to club whenever there's a bid for him, which which is kind of it's, it's kind of a pain in the rump when that happens. But it is who it is. We got Cho Young Hoon up next, the right back option. It's one and a half star, four star potential. And uh, he looks to be pretty good. I wish he had a little bit more strength as well. Six foot five as a right back. You know, we, we might potentially go ahead and move him into training as a center back as well. He does have pretty decent crossing for the, his age. Really brave. Got good teamwork. Great tackling at his age. I mean, he looks to be a really solid player as well. So kind of kind of excited to see how he develops. Up next, Kim in Wu, one star player, four and a half star potential. Left back, right back. Can kind of play either side. He's uh, first playing on the left hand side though. And he's he's a he wow. Good night. He is short. Five foot three. Wow. Don't expect him to win many heads. That that is he is he's a tiny fat fella, ain't he? Alright, Kim. Another one of you. Got another Kim Hey Sung here. Left wing option. Uh, looks like he's a really creative player with 15 flair. His finishing's dog shit, though. Uh, teamwork, good teamwork. Which, he looks solid. Nothing nothing crazy. Uh, one and a half star striker. Three star potential. Shim Sung Hoon. He's not very good, is he? I mean, he's fast. But. 
That's kind of how I feel about him. Like, we got a couple more guys we're going to go over. We got Cho Bain Sook, um, central mid, one star player, three star potential. Got good natural fitness, good teamwork, good determination. He doesn't know where to stand offside when he doesn't have the ball in his hand. 16 years old, he's already grown a mustache. He's already got a full mustache and got a five o'clock shadow, it looks like. So, might want to check his birth stiff. He might be a little bit older than. I mean, he's, I mean, he he does have some ability to, to do like, but he's he's just really. I mean, I don't know. We got another Kim here, Kim Jinsu, one and a half star, three star potential goal keep, and uh, yeah, he's he's all right. I mean, when it gets down like to this point, it's just like okay, yeah, he's a player. I do want to highlight this guy. He's not a three star player, but he is an American half star, two and a half star potential left wing player. He's an American. I mean, yeah. There we go. So we're, we're going to go over that. I'm going to sign some players. I'll take a look at the rest of them, sign them, and uh, hopefully we can get somebody that we can develop. I'm not going to worry about signing them on screen. We'll do that. I'll do that off screen. I haven't picked the team. Yes, I have. I have picked this. We're going up against Kang One, so I'm kind of debating actually playing some different players like uh, Rodriguez coming in. Coming in. Uh, I'm, I'm PJ. You're going to come in. Right back option. Let Kim get a little bit of a break. I, I, I want this to stay the same. What I am debating is Jung hadn't looked good. Kim Kite coming in. I mean, it's probably a dumb decision. I mean, I, I, I get that. It probably is. But for me, it is going to be right, the right decision. I'm going to take, put, take Sam off the, put him down there. Jim J. Min coming on for Kim, too, on the bench. Actually, Sorry, TJ, you're coming out. Shim J Man's coming on. So what we're gonna do, we got Son in goal. You know what? No. We got Wang Dong in goal. We got Shim J Man, Rodriguez, Park Song One, and Gutierrez making up our back four. In the midfield, Park G Min, Park Jong, right hand side, Kim Sung Ko. In the middle, Kite. Left hand side, Aaron. Up top, Kim Kite. It's a rotated side. But we are about to get into the uh split where we'll be playing top half teams. And I want to be ready for that. So get some of these guys going. Let some of the guys who haven't played particularly well. Let them, hey, guy, John, bud, you're, you're too good not to be playing for us. But it also does give players like Kim Kite a little bit of an opportunity. Because that's the thing. When I have a player like John, and I think I mentioned in the last episode, I really don't like taking them out. Because it's one of those things of like, even if they're not performing well, you know what they can do. Unfortunately, he just didn't do that in that matchup for us. And with players like Kim Kite, they, I mean, they need time to develop. They need to play. Gutierrez is picked. That's, that's the injuries. Oh, the, our guys that are at the military club, they're, they're coming back in two days or three days or something. They're coming back before the split. So we are having some reinforcements come. I don't know. When they're at the, in the military, team pay, like that team that they're at, do they pay the wages or... Am I still paying the wages of those guys? Because if they're paying the wages and their loan ends, comes back and I'm having to pay their wages again, we're going to be really over that payroll again. We do take the lead here. I'm not sure who scored. Kim Sung Ho with it here. Gets it. Who does he find? He finds Marin. Okay, thanks, Marin. You showed up today. I, I guarantee, I wonder if Marin is one of those players, and I typically avoid signing these guys. Yep, he doesn't enjoy big matches. That's why he always disappears. I'm moving on from Marion this offseason. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I thought I started thinking about it during that last match. I was like, you know, he really he does good against like really shitty teams, but when he goes up against a tough matchup, he's like, hey, this isn't my my thing. So I started thinking, I was like, you know, I bet he doesn't like big matches. Yeah. There's a reason why he's bad at those. Uh, the Kite brothers are not not really looking too good out there right now, and Kim Sung Ho tired as well. Hopefully, it's not an injury. I can't. We can't afford it anymore. Kite slotting over there. We're going to bring on the youngster Yoon Soon, Yoon Sang Hoon. Uh, I don't know if you guys have actually seen. Him or not. He's not great. Not bad. I mean, he's a player. He's an he's an attacking mid. I, I am also bringing. Gone. Marion, bud, I'm I'm sorry, but 
I'll have to play. Park G Min can come off as well. Uh, Lee Soon Ho coming on. Had a good match actually in the Champions League matchup for us. So I do want to give him some playing time here. He'll probably be one of the guys that actually stays on the team next year. Or I'm pretty sure like he'll stay on the team. Depending on what we have at midfield, there may be more of them get called up as well. 1-0 victory over Kane 1. It wasn't pretty. None of the matches have been pretty of late, but it was a win. Ivan Marin with the 7.6. Outstretched arms. Good win, boys. Well done. I don't know who we're coming back with next. Gutierrez is out for one to two days, so hey. At least it's not forever, like the rest of them. So yeah, we're, we're going to finish up the season for the split before we come back. That's going to be three matches for me. I think this happens at the very tail end of the season, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we're going to come back, like I said, with the league split. A little bit of a good matchup for us in the first two matches. Well, it is a bit tough when you get knocked out against a team that you know that you're better than. Maybe next year. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.